Think about your home. If you're lucky, it's the one place you know you're safe. When the world is scary or dangerous, or it's the peak of a global pandemic, what do our governments tell us? Quédate en casa. Bitte bleiben Sie, wenn immer möglich, zu Hause an Ihrem Wohnort. You are safer at home. But billions of our neighbors are not so lucky. One in three urban residents live in inadequate homes, lacking basic protections like running water and strong walls that many take for granted. During the COVID pandemic, 90% of households in emerging economies couldn't comply with health guidelines. And things are only getting worse. The climate crisis is already producing more intense and more frequent storms, rising seas, and unprecedented threats for inadequate homes. Earthquakes and hurricanes particularly threaten poor families in substandard homes. And disasters already displace more people globally than wars. Housing is a human right, a cornerstone of our economies, and essential to social justice. And it has reached a breaking point. But here's the good news. For decades, we could only play catch up, building back better after a disaster or a storm had devastated a neighborhood. Now, finally, thanks to breakthrough methods, we can also build better before these disasters. And in the process, protect community health, secure economies, and most of all, save millions of lives. Here's how we do it. The idea of resilient housing is simple. Instead of only tearing down substandard houses, we also retrofit and repair them. Building new, better homes is essential but helping families build in their own plots or improve their existing homes when they don't need to be replaced is just as important. Consider that only 1% of the global housing stock is renewed each year, and that those who need new homes the most are often excluded because of extreme poverty or other factors. The research is clear on who stands to gain the most from safer homes and better policies vulnerable populations like women and refugees, the differently abled, and others. Here at the Global Program for Resilient Housing, a team within the World Bank, we've developed a comprehensive method pairing technology with policy and private sector participation to help governments rethink their approach to housing. Around the world, the team is already hard at work helping governments and communities build better before and implementing inclusive, justice-oriented policies at the same time. Our process starts with a groundbreaking method to help governments identify the housing stock most at risk from serious threats before the threats actually occur. Machine learning, the same technology that makes self-driving cars possible and is revolutionizing disease diagnoses, can also help identify which types of homes are vulnerable to disasters, diseases, and climate change. We've scanned images of tens of thousands of buildings, predicting characteristics governments around the world can use. These kinds of surveying projects used to require hundreds of workers and thousands of hours of labor. But now it can be done with just a team of five in a fraction of the time at a fraction of the cost. Governments can now develop portals and maps which show types of houses that need to be strengthened or rooftops that need to be replaced, home values, and more. Our partners now know where they can cheaply and quickly make improvements and where they need other interventions like resettlement. Next, they collaborate with local banks and construction companies and can connect families with financing and contractors to finally help make these homes more resilient. Now these families can survive the next earthquake or hurricane in a stronger, safer house. Governments can better target their subsidies, helping more people faster. And banks and small businesses have new opportunities to reach clients in underserved areas. At the end of the day, these prevention measures are up to 10 times cheaper than reconstruction. These homes aren't just statistics. Each one represents lives and families like for the people living in these historic homes in Pueblo, Mexico, where retrofits are preserving heritage and protecting them from future earthquakes. Or this family in Colombia, where new ramps and running water have meant new independence for their differently abled son. Or this community in Indonesia, 
where green building updates will reduce both carbon emissions and electric bills. That's what this is about. Building better before gives families, communities, and governments a better option. And most importantly, it saves millions of lives. So please, join us and help not just build back better, but build better before. <laughs>